What is going on, guys? It is Initial Games here, back again with another video. And today, guys, we got some patch notes that have been released and are now officially like in the game. You know, a lot of balance changes that happened today, guys. Specifically today, what happened? Um, a lot of buffs. I will say that, and a couple of nerfs. I'm gonna say that a couple of nerfs. Um, but yeah, like I said, a lot of buffs. Um, much needed buffs for sure. Um, definitely much needed buffs that we definitely needed uh, to these cards and everything. And hoping that we start getting a whole lot of new buffs for other cards because these are some really solid buffs um, and nerfs that we're going to go through right here. We're going to go through the event tab, guys, though. And go here specifically. You can see here October Hotfix Player Balance Adjustments. So you can see it says, hey, ballers, to provide a fair and more realistic gameplay experience, we made some balance adjustments to the attributes and skill of certain players. Thank you for your continued understanding and support. So you can see you're starting off. I know a lot of people are going to be excited about this. Kevin Durant, you know, him playing super good in the Olympics. He's finally getting a, a buff here. A legendary card. There's a legendary KD version, not the rare KD, the legendary one. You can see Durant's in-game performance didn't quite match his real-life abilities, which I agree. You can see his skill 3-point polo pro. Max level increased to to three to four. So that's huge. His three-point attribute is increasing one level. I think it should be to five, in my opinion. Um, Hopefully, they increase to five, but that's a nice little upgrade him. His exclusive, when Durant uses a sta stationary shot or exclusive one leg fade away, his mid-range field goal improves. So you can see they increased it. Uh, level one, 2% to 4%. Pretty big right there. Level two, 3% to 5%. And level three, from 5% to 7%. So they increased it by 2%. Which is, um, it may seem like it's not a lot, but it's actually pretty meaningful in the game. It matters a lot. Uh, and they reduced the probability of blockable shots while his dominance is in effect. So his exclusive is going to be pretty much nearly uh, bucket guaranteed. Um, unless you obviously block it. Um, and his dominance, after dominance is activated, next mid-range shot ignores base shot contest. However, as long as the opponent's block is time right, the rate of being blocked greatly increases. You can see level 1, 70%. Minus 40%, so it's a 40% chance, I'm pretty sure, of not getting blocked. Uh, 2%, I mean, level 2 is 50% to 20%. That's big difference. And level 3, 30% to 0%. Does that mean that he's not going to get blocked? That may be the case. I'm not sure. That will be really good, though. Next buff here, you can see Devin Booker. Another buff we definitely needed. Uh, you can see it reads, Booker, Booker's performance in NBA has been inconsistent. We decided to enhance his offensive capabilities. You can see a skill tough shot finisher, max level increase from 4 to 5. Nice little upgrade right there. His dominant mid-range shot fuel increased from level 1, 5% to 7%. Level 2, 10% to 12%. And level 3, 15% to 18%. So a nice little mid-range boost right there. Um, Definitely think, I do think he should be fixed with his 3-point shot. But a nice little buff to Devin Booker there. All right, Damon Lillard. And you can see a read. Lillard has been long, very dominant in ranked matches. So we've slightly reduced... His impact. You can see his speed has been nerfed, guys. He's been nerfed. Lillard has been nerfed yet again. Back-to-back -back seasons. Um, some 7.18 to 7.06. So I believe the highest, if you get him at max rank, 890 speed is his max rank. But now it's been knocked down to 875. So, yeah. Massive nerf to Damian Lillard. Massive nerf to Lillard users. But I think with enough coaches, he'll still be really good. Um, his exclusive shot. Distance, weakening, resistance, level 1 remains 4%. Level 2 uh, went from 7% to 6%. And level 3 went from 10% to 9%. So not really a big nerf, but I'll say the big nerf I'll say is that speed boost, which matters a lot in guards. Chris Paul, uh, this is very important to keep in mind here. Read this. We've noticed that Paul lacked in-game scoring option that fits his personal play style, has struggled due to limited mobility in matches. You can see his new moves. They added a fadeaway and a floater. Finally... Um, that is important for a guard. Um, I believe a guard is useless if he doesn't have a floater. Every guard, in my opinion, should have a floater. Because um, when you play high rank games, you're going to get blocked by AD. Any really good blocker like Embiid, floater is really important. Um, fadeaway is really important as well. Um, they removed this move as pump, fake, and fly. And between the back crossover, I, mean, I am disappointed between the back crossover. I think that's he should have been kept that. But adding the fadeaway and floater is really important. Uh, new skill, acceleration master level 2. Very nice right there. His speed increased from 577 to 612. So that is a 35 speed increase. Very huge, huge buff. So overall, CP3 got a huge buff. I think he got the biggest buff 
out of this entire thing. You can see exclusive effect increases teammates' movement speed. It got buffed from 6% to 8% on level 1, level 2, 7% to 10%, and level 3, 8% to 12%. So huge buff for Chris Paul right there. Now, Donovan Mitchell, interesting here. You can see Mitchell had an outstanding playoff performance last season, but this wasn't reflected in NBA Infinite. So we're upgrading his skills in game to align with his actual play style. Skill airborne max level increased from 4 to 5. Added skill tough shot finisher level 3. And Alfred Sengun uh, is the next player here. Sengun has underperformed since joining NBA Infinite, so we've enhanced his passing and post up abilities. Uh, that added his skill power post up to level 3. His skill post up jumper max level increased from 4 to 5. His precision pass. Max level increase from 2 to 4. So overall, he's like a playmaking center, but no one really used him. Uh, the exclusive effect. When performing a post-up shot, passing to a teammate with a layup fake and pass, dunk fake and pass, or a pump fake and pass will increase their field goal percentage. Uh, level 1, 5%, 8%. Level 2, 8% to 10%. And level 3, 10% to 13%. So he got a nice little buff right there. And DeAndre, and I'm not sure if this is like a buff or a nerf, but you can take a look here. Aiton's baseline dunk move at level three wasn't effective so we reduced it to level two to prevent wasted resource investment quite interesting right there uh you can see his move based on dunk level three reduced to level two i would say it's more like a nerf but even at level three it was useless i guess what mb infinite is trying to do they're just trying to give you back their skill manuals i guess that's what it is but there you guys have all the buffs and everything i mean let me know down in the comments what do you guys think of all these buffs but i am going to go ahead and go to the training camp practice to try that Chris Paul fadeaway, guys. I am going to try it. I only have him ranked three right now. I'm going to try to get him to R5 because he is complete for free. Now, let me see if he does have that fadeaway. Yes, he does. Look at that. Just like that. They added. That is huge. They added his fadeaway, guys. His drill moves are weird, though. Actions are not bad. Let me try the floater. I don't think... I think the floater is not unlocked at rank three yet. Yeah. But you can see he does have that, that fadeaway, which he didn't have before. Yeah, there's that fadeaway right there. Um, I'm, I am going to check at what rank his floor unlocks. And I want you guys commenting down below that I should do ch R7 check gameplay, which I will be doing. I, I can definitely do some gameplay on that. But I do want to check when his floor is unlocked. Let's see. Floater. It is unlocked at rank 6, so yeah, for those free-to-play players, you're not going to be able to have the floater, unfortunately. So R6, I think it should have been R4 or R5, but oh, hey, the fadeaway is a plus for sure, though. But like I said, there you guys have the balance changes, huge balance change in my opinion, definitely needed. Um, hopefully, we get a lot more and everything, but yeah. Other than that, guys, this and wrap it up. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I am out, guys. Peace.